my mind went crazy because I was like, how am I gonna incorporate, you know, tape into a donut? Or, I like this. So, I, I love all of them. <laughs> now my mind is like. Hi, my name is Fanny Gerson. I am the chef founder of Fan Fan Donuts. It's a donut shop in Bed-Stuy, Brooklyn. Welcome to my dream donut. So Fan Fan Donuts is a very unique and special place. Um, I think one of the things that sets us apart is that it's very personal. One of the reasons why I love New York is precisely the arts. So the idea behind My Dream Donut is to collaborate with different artists of different mediums that I wouldn't know otherwise. It's all about, you know, getting to know each other and hopefully create something that blends both of our creative minds. <laughs> and like Koopy, what do you know of him so far, your first um, collaborator? Uh, what I know about Koopy is that he makes this incredible tape art, um, you know, installation kind of thing, you know, and just does these very geometrical, amazing, you know, patterns. I love the fact that he takes something as common as tape, but I have no idea what we're going to end up creating. So basically what I just did is the skeleton. Okay. It's the base. You know what I mean? <laughs> well, I've been doing this since the 90s, you know, like 94, I came to New York, and then uh, I think 95, 96, I started doing tape, so. <laughs> but they're pretty much geometrical and abstract. I've been trying to do, you know, different stuff, but I always end up doing abstract, so somehow I like it. They're very decorative. This is what I do too, like I put in all the tape on my, <laughs> because I don't want to like have anything on the floor. And then I end up with a nice outfit. This combination, I love it. When I do it on the street, like in a park or on the street, like on the sidewalks or the actual streets, uh, people love to help. Cookie? <laughs> hey. Hi. Nice Honey? to meet you. Hey. <laughs> the Latin way. I always turn to be more colorful than anything else. Yeah. But then I realized too, sometimes if you use one or two colors, it's more, uh, not sophisticated, but it's uh, like uh, chic, let's put it that Yeah. <laughs> the, the longer you spend on one piece, the better it gets. You know, like when I see this, it just makes me happy. Have you ever done anything with donuts or Never. relating to donuts? Never, but <laughs> I, I love the challenge. That's awesome. I love the challenge, and the time that I got the email, I was like, this is crazy. <laughs> you know, this is crazy good. Hello. Hola, Cookie. Looking, looking for funny. Hello. Hola, how are you? How you doing? So good to see you again. Nice seeing you. I think one of the most exciting parts about this process, it's going to be kind of, uh, you know, the openness that can occur between between us. I'm so excited to have you back here. Me too. I want to see what you what you brought. You know. Well, I brought a couple of things from South America. You know, alfajores. I love alfajores. So I got this one. There was something similar that I also brought. This one. <gasps> You get this here? These are habanets. They're similar to those. This is like a Latin American kiss, you know, like the Persian kiss kind of thing. Is it just the flavor? Is it a shape? Is it, you know, a whole experience? But that's the beauty of art. It was a challenge for me when you contact me, when you guys contact me. And I will show you the ideas here. I also brought this. It's a dulce de batata. What is batata? Uh, camote. Oh, or yeah, yeah, yeah. Sweet potato. Oh, sweet potato. It's kind of like a chestnut flavor. Yeah. So, this cool. is like the things that I thought 
you may be interested. Yeah. What I was thinking is like, if we take these ones, and we can paint in halfway or something like, or dip it. I feel like the donuts are the perfect canvas for artistic expression. So I make a couple of options. Wow. So. Look at it. It's amazing. So this is the one that I use in here. The other one, I have a name. Oh, wow. It's more my style, like, you know, the lines with the three-dimensional stuff. I can go, go crazier for the ideas of the donuts. You can hold it. I, I just love, saw them together, I don't know just why. I love, I love this, like, uh, they all like look a like little kiss, you know? Yeah. Keys. Now my mind is going like Yeah. Every time I create something, it's like a clean slate to have a new experience. So it's challenging continuously. Now that I saw what you had, so I was thinking, we could do, you know, kind of like different patterns, like this, like uh, dried uh, frozen raspberries or something to give a little bit of color. So what if you had something like this, where we make our own, right? Like you create the opposite effect. Yeah. You know what I mean? For me, it was a challenge of designing something. You yeah. Know, like, for me, like the donut, I was like, like with dough, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so if we did something like this, that you have the lines, you know, they're part of it, right? Oh my God, funny. Woo. But but I think the idea of having something like that. Yeah. Then we just have to do a lot of testing. I like to explore different flavors from around the world, different cultures, and I find inspiration everywhere. So everything is going to be made from scratch? Yeah. Nice. Everything is made from nice. scratch? Nice, Is that your real name? No, your my name is Ruben name? Alejandro. And where did Cookie come from? Uh, somebody uh, just started calling me Cookie, and I didn't choose. It chose you? Yeah. I love it. You do your thing, I, you know, I think about more about the things you told me about the design for the store and uh, everything. Yeah, and then everything's gonna come together. Yeah. I can't wait to see, you know, what, what I come up with. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't know how it's gonna translate, you know, Cookie's art into donuts. I have no idea. I'm just, I'm just excited about the possibilities. So it's been a couple weeks since I saw or I met Cookie, and he was here, and my mind's just been going nonstop, like I'm dreaming about <laughs> the donuts, and I just had like so many ideas. Well, let's think about what things are, you know, sort of linear. Then I was like, so thought about sprinkles, like at one of his, um, you know, his drawings that he left, he had like sprinkles. And when I see them, like when I'm typing them, I think of Cookie. I mean, look at this. <laughs> so this was my first idea for the sprinkles, and I was just having a lot of fun with it. And I said, how can I make these sprinkles my own? I'm testing different buttercreams, buttercream flavors. This is a dragon fruit sprinkle. This flavor is mango turmeric, and this is matcha. You like it? Hell yeah. So then I thought I really wanted to tie in, you know, his Argentinian background and do create lines like in piping. So for this one, this is the chocolate dulce de leche. I've narrowed it down to two. I've tested many versions of this. And then I was gonna do a, a coconut buttercream or coconut infused cream. Because, you know, those are like the flavors that he said he loves. Ooh, maybe I'll do like little coconut cookies. It's more about his Argentinian background and his love for alfajor, so I feel like definitely had to do something inspired by that and bring a little pop of color. So I wanted to test different braids um, that were all round and so braided in a different way just to create a different linear pattern. I really love these two in particular. These were both with two braids, uh, two strand braids, but they were just braided differently. Looks like a flower. So this is a passion fruit mango glaze. I just think the poppy seeds might look nice. He was talking about how much he loves plants and he's part of this community garden and, and I think it's so beautiful. So 
this is the last idea. Oh my God. This is gonna be so good. This is, you know, kind of like in the more simplest, like lines. more like his lines, like the simplest forms. Simple is hard, you know? I'm excited. Sometimes I'll have like this set idea of like, oh, this is what I'm gonna do. And then when I put it together, I'm like, hmm, <laughs> no. Voila. Yeah. It's all about the time, it's magnificent. Yes, it's very magnificent. What do you think of the box? But yeah, these are, these are the ideas that I have so far. And I kind of want to get Cookie's take on it. Hey. Hi, Cookie. Oh. <laughs> this is a chocolate dulce de leche filling. Chocolate and dulce de leche? Yeah. Chocolate and dulce de leche filling. <laughs> <laughs> Awesome. Well, I'm so excited that you're excited. I can't wait for you to try them. All right. Bye. You know, this has been really challenging. I've been really pushing myself, but uh, yeah, it's definitely, definitely, definitely good for me. And I just, I, I hope that when he sees what I come up with, that he's excited and he feels kind of identified. He knows like how much he's inspired me. And I just hope that to bring as much joy as he does to me and everybody else that sees his art.